Now, making the decision on whether to step in when someone's life may be in danger is something for which a lot of people train for. And as Fox 43's Jamie Bittner reports from Adams County, there's a group that helps folks who carry weapons for just that type of moment. Take a drive out to Mount Joy Township, Adams County, and you'll find some top gun professionals. On Wednesday, they were the ones driving me out to the range, where they teach anyone how to handle any type of weapon that can kill. Lesson one. Well, the first thing that we always teach our students is keep your finger off the trigger, <laughs> unless you plan on using the weapon. Tripwire Operations Group trains the military and police. They also train people like you and me. It's always to uh, cease the aggressor. And the way you do that is you shoot for center mass. Making the decision to intervene is a split second one. So that's why they work to help people prepare for how to do it properly, especially in public settings. Bottom line is if you're in fear of serious bodily injury or death, or you fear for someone else's uh, safety, then you can employ lethal force um, if it arises to that level. This is just one of the targets that people train on, and it gives you instant gratification because when you hit one of these targets, it goes down, and then you can pop it back up so you can train all over again. If you're drawing the weapon, obviously the intent is there to use it. When we train um, the students, we try to train them also in a stress environment. Um, to get their heart rates up to make them because uh, a lot of times it's muscle memory at that point that takes over. Without training experts here say people won't hit targets which can be a liability at a later time. Tripwire teaches everything from how to draw a weapon to how to shoot one. Some people are partial to a revolver type weapon um, so you have a small frame weapon here or even a semi-automatic pistol like this. How much can a civilian maybe get in the way of a crime if they have weapons too and a law enforcement officer shows up and they don't know who the shooter is? That's a very, very good point to bring up. If you are in, get engaged in some kind of um, um, adverse action such as this, you want to make sure it's clearly identified that you're not a threat, whether you put your hands up or put the weapon on the ground or whatever. Just make sure that law enforcement knows that you're not an aggressor. In Mount Joy Township, Adams County, Jamie Benner, Fox 43 News.